What we're trying to do is uh, today, he's done a little bit of low volume lifting. And the fight simulation, so utilizing all the modalities of conditioning that you may use within the uh, in that kind of fight type. Two things, one, to get the adaptation from the conditioning. With the camp, we're not guessing really, and this is the key really, that we need to make sure the athlete's fueled well enough that we can uh, put them through this kind of session at the end of the camp. Come on, make it work, I'll make it work. Drive it back into it. Drive While we take it out of the uh, physical adaptation, we're trying to build a little bit of psychology around three five minute rounds, one minute rest. And mainly for Paddy, and he likes that because he, he feels in the zone that he can't be taken and pushed harder than that within the fight. And I think that's important um, from a psychology perspective that he can ease through them three, five minutes. I'm a finisher, lad, you know what I mean? I'm, I don't play with me food, lad, you know what I mean? I finish me dinner, and that's what I'm going to do. I don't decision anyone. I'm coming in to get the finish and get another 50 grand bonus, that's how I roll. No, I don't do fight of the night, lad. I do performance of the night, you know what I mean? No one's doing any damage to me to give me fight of the night. I get performance of the night, lad. I'm trying to go for fourth in a row, I'm going to get fourth in a row, I know I am. Four performance bonuses and four fights, it's happening. We had our last real hard session before we came out to Vegas. Now the rest of fight week is just maintenance. I'm making sure our joints and everything feel good. His body is feeling well. I make sure that we're not leaving him prone to soft tissue injury. So stressing his body just enough that he holds on to the, all the work that he did throughout fight camp. And after that, a little bit more focused on vision and vestibular work. You know, having him cover one eye and, and simply just touch a dot. Same thing as trying to touch him with a punch. On. Seven. The neurology is so important, right? Because every movement starts in the brain, right? Everything starts in the brain, and it's what people still don't understand sometimes. When you don't get the brain right, the body will not follow right. We do a lot of visualization stuff. Visualizing being backstage, the warm-up, getting your hands wrapped, uh, walking out to the octagon. You know, every time I do it, I'm like, I'm like ready to go, you know? So it's, it's been a really great experience for me. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Kia, 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 I was born on the one. Man, just another day for Darren, really. It's the. The amount of work a man can get into a session is incredible. His ability to go above and beyond, like mind over matter, is just second to none. His ability to control his mind when he's when he's got a focused target, is, it's scary. Like you said, it's like he's like a ravenous dog. Darren's the best of the best for a reason, you know what I mean? Everyone knows his name. Credit to Drukas, he's he's going in, he's trying for the for the top dog, but he's just gonna come up too short. And with Darren it's like you tell him that this person on the floor is the one that's trying to, you know, get in your way, trying to get in the way of your dream. He will be, like you said, held him back by resistant bands, people pushing him, and he will not come off that. I think Darren will finish him just halfway through the second round, just wear him down a little bit. Once he gets his eye in like that, bang, it's lights out. I don't know. I like, I like hard work. Uh, as long as you've cut no corners and paid your rent. Everything else will be okay. Hey, hey. He's the top matchup, he's on the field for a reason, but I know that I'm better than him anywhere. The fight takes a place, I'm better than him, so I feel ready to get another win. Qué bonito, cabrón. Otra vez. I always think about the finish. I don't go inside the cage thinking about decisions. I'm always looking for a finish. And I know that I'm gonna finish him. It's going to be a fun fight to watch. And someone gonna lose his undefeated. And it's not going to be me, of course. Creo que esta pelea va a ser mucho mejor para Ilia porque. Ilia es un peleador mucho más completo. 
eh, hace striking, hace wrestling, hace jiu-jitsu. En cambio, cuando lo veo a, a Bryce Mitchell, sí que tiene un muy buen jiu-jitsu, pero para poder mantener su estilo sobre el de guía va a ser muy complicado. Que lo va a noquear o lo va a finalizar en el primer round. Uno, tiempo. Oh, yeah, it's comfy. <laughs> and it, what's what that is the pose, isn't it? Easy that. Well, Patty, UFC 282, you're here in Vegas. Do you feel like a um, superstar coming into Vegas on a week like this, last pay-per-view of the year? Yeah, of course. I, I know I'm a superstar anyway, you know what I mean? Without being big-headed, I, I know the person selling the pay-per-views is on this card, and I think everyone else does. Mm -hmm. I just bring a whole different energy, whole different vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, we'll put this right next to you, like you're sleeping with the bell. I think maybe your stardom is just that simple, that, you, that you're a real person. Yeah, I'm just me. Maybe. Yeah, people can relate to me, you know what I mean? You can't relate to a lot of MMA fighters. You just can't. And I'm just a normal kid lad that believed in himself enough and I've got to where I am. Get a little tap, Give a little tap, tap. Give a little tap. Just send them home. But it's going to be a packed out arena when I walk out. When the lights go black and everyone's just got their phones out singing, oh, party the body. I am on fire like I have never been on fire. And Jared Gordon's getting knocked out or submitted in the first round. Well, can't wait to see you, dude. Thank you, know you so much fella. for sitting down. Appreciate it. Yeah, the, you know, we train in the same gym now <laughs> in USCPI, so you meet a lot of uh, fighters here. He trained here also, so uh, just say hi and not today. Leave, you know, we don't fight today, we will not fight this Saturday because in Saturday someone give us money for that. If you will do this today, nobody will gonna pay for, <laughs> for it. How the title shot happened it was crazy for me because I was in the plane from London to Vegas. 10 hours in the sky, so no Wi-Fi because uh, I never use Wi-Fi in the in the plane because this is not something like detox for me. I just you know play some games and try to sleep. So I don't know what happened on the ground and when I landing, I turn off my uh, my phone, catch Wi-Fi and uh, my phone was shaking all the time, you know. So I say, oh okay, something's happened. So first I check uh, message from my manager. And I read this message that I have title shot, and I had to, to read four times this message. And I don't understand, what, 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 you got title shot? I showed to my uh, coach, <laughs> he said, yeah, we got title shot. <laughs> it was crazy, so we just, you know, okay, let's take our bag, go to the hotel and let's do some training. That was crazy, you know, a couple hours for me. For me, you know, I'm excited, because I think that I deserve for this title shot, and I have it, you know. <laughs> You know, universe works good for me, so I have to use it, you know. Everybody will use this chance if someone have it like me, so I'm happy I'm gonna use this chance.